There are many people who believe in God and that he exists. But what is the purpose of pain? Is it a test from God? Some people say yes, while others say that it has no real purpose. But pain is a natural part of life. It's what helps us to learn and grow, and it's also what can motivate us to do our best. But why does God allow pain in the world? The answer lies in the fact that pain can lead to repentance and faith. When we're in pain, it's often hard to stay positive. But when we experience God's love and care through hardship, we begin to see that everything is going to be okay. We learn to trust Him more, and that strengthens our relationship with Him. In the end, all pain can lead us closer to God and a life full of happiness and fulfillment. Finding hope when we're hurting can be difficult, but it's worth it. When we trust in God and keep our eyes on the bigger picture, we can cope with pain and find peace. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 8 to 10 says, We are troubled on every side yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair, persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Amen. Matthew 11 verse 29 to 30 says, Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Hallelujah. Pain is an inevitable part of life. Different people may have different reasons for why pain exists in the world. Some people may believe that pain is part of a natural process that helps us learn and grow. Others may believe that pain is a sign from God that something is wrong and needs to be fixed. And still others may simply believe that pain is necessary for some sort of punishments or consequences to be effective. All of these reasons are valid, and each person may have their own personal beliefs about why pain exists in the world. But God allows us to experience pain in order to learn and grow. Regardless of why pain exists, it is an unfortunate reality that people can suffer from great pain without any hope of relief. This is especially true for those who are sick or injured, as they may not have the ability to get treatment or manage their pain effectively. People who suffer from chronic pain may also find that the condition is difficult to treat and can be extremely debilitating. There are a number of ways that people have found to cope with pain and make life more tolerable, but no matter what people do, they will inevitably experience pain at some point in their lives. God will always be with them and will guide them through their pain, no matter how difficult it may be. The Bible teaches that God allows pain for a reason. Pain and suffering may seem like a negative thing, but according to the Bible, it's actually a good thing. In fact, pain and suffering are sometimes part of God's plan. There are several reasons why God allows pain and suffering in our lives. First, it can help us learn and grow. When we're faced with difficult challenges, pain can help us develop patience and perseverance. It can also make us more determined and focused. Second, pain and suffering can help us learn about ourselves. When we're hurt or struggling, we have a chance to reflect on our attitudes and behaviors. We can also see how we've responded to pain in the past. This kind of self-reflection is important for improving our future relationships as well as our own spiritual growth. Also, pain and suffering can lead us to repentance. When we're faced with difficulty, it's tempting to give up or to become bitter. But through pain and suffering, we may be able to recognize our own sins and weaknesses. In this way, we can change our lives for the better. Prayer can be a powerful tool for coping with pain. Prayers can provide comfort and help people to understand and accept their pain. Prayers can also offer hope for a better future and remind people that God is always with them. There are many different ways to pray for pain relief, and all of them are worth trying. Simply speaking with God about how you are feeling can be very helpful, as can reading or listening to scripture about pain and suffering. God is always with us, and he will help us through any difficult experience. We can learn to accept pain. There is something about pain that makes it unavoidable for most people. It seems like no matter what we do, something always goes wrong and we end up in pain. Pain can be physical or emotional, but for many people, it is a constant companion. Some people try to avoid pain by using drugs or alcohol, but this only makes the problem worse. Eventually, the addiction takes over and the person cannot function without the substance. They become slaves to their own desires, which only leads to more pain and suffering. Others attempt to numb themselves with television or other activities, but this only postpones the inevitable. The pain will come back eventually and it will be even worse than before, because the person has become habituated to numbing their emotions. The answer to overcoming pain lies in accepting it as part of life. It is inevitable that we will experience pain at some point, but we can learn to cope with it better if we understand why it happens and how to make it less painful. 
if we understand why it is sent to us. Pain is a message from God. Pain is not always easy to take, but if we can understand its purpose, we can begin to accept and appreciate it. According to Christian philosopher John Hick, pain is a messenger from God that alerts us to our own danger or need for healing. In other words, pain isn't always bad, it can sometimes be a sign from God that we need help. For example, when you stub your toe and feel the sharp pain rushing through your body, you might instinctively cry out in agony. But if you look at it more closely, you might realize that this pain is actually a warning sign, it means you need to stop walking on that toe right away. Without this warning, you could end up with a serious injury. Similarly, when you experience physical pain during childbirth, it's not because the childbirth process itself is bad. On the contrary, it can be very painful and strenuous. The painkillers given to women during labor are only meant to lessen the intensity of the pain so that they can have an easier time giving birth. In fact, some women even find the pain therapeutic in some way. So, next time you're in pain, don't try to ignore it or suppress your emotions. Instead, ask yourself why you're feeling this way and look for the message that may be hidden within it. Then, do your best to heed that message and find the help that you need. Accepting pain is the first step in overcoming it. We can find comfort in God. We can remember that pain is temporary and that it will eventually lead to something good. For example, when we experience pain during childbirth, it may cause us to cry out in agony, but eventually we will be relieved to have baby safely born. Similarly, when we are hurt on the soccer field or in a car accident, the pain may seem unbearable at first, but eventually we may learn to appreciate the miracle of life and all the new experiences that come with it. In short, pain can remind us that life is full of challenges and opportunities. It can also remind us of our relationship with God, He is always there for us no matter what happens. So let's remember to lean on Him during tough times and enjoy the journey ahead. By understanding why pain happens, we can begin to accept it as part of our lives. This will help us to cope better with the pain and move on from the experience. God is with us through all of our pain. There is much pain and suffering in the Bible, but there is also much joy. The Bible teaches that pain and suffering are part of life, but they are also a way to learn and grow. In the Bible, God often uses pain and suffering to teach people about himself. For example, when Israel was in Egypt, God allowed them to suffer many hardships. Pharaoh refused to let the Israelites go, so God caused all kinds of problems for them. The Israelites eventually became slaves in Egypt, but they also learned about God's power and how to obey him. In the same way, when Jesus was crucified, he suffered greatly. But he also showed his love for humanity by dying on the cross. By experiencing pain and suffering themselves, people can learn about God's love for them. There are also many examples of joy in the Bible. When David won a battle against Goliath, he sang a song of victory. This song of triumph was full of joy because David had overcome an opponent who was much bigger and stronger than he was. Similarly, when Jesus died on the cross, he took our suffering with him so that we could be forgiven and have eternal life. In this way, joy is a major theme in the Bible. It is a reminder that even during difficult times, God is always with us. The Spiritual Significance of Pain Pain has a profound spiritual significance for those who believe in God. For many believers, pain is a necessary part of life. It can be a reminder that we are alive. It can help us to learn and grow, and it can lead us to repentance and forgiveness. There are many different ways that believers use pain as a tool for spiritual growth. Some people pray with pain. Others read scripture while in pain. Still others go through difficult trials or hardships as a way of learning more about God and his plan for their lives. All of these practices are meant to help believers understand their relationship with God better and to draw closer to Him. The spiritual value of pain cannot be overstated. Even the worst experiences can lead to growth and understanding if they're used in the right way. So when something hurts, don't fight it, embrace it. As humans, we are constantly faced with difficult decisions. What we choose to do often has lasting effects on both ourselves and others. Some of the most difficult choices we have to make are ones that involve pain. We may wonder why God allows pain in our lives, but it is ultimately up to Him to decide how much or how little pain each of us will experience. While we cannot change what happens in the world around us, we can choose how we respond to it. So even though pain and suffering can be difficult, they can also be a source of comfort and joy. We can remember that God is with us through all of our pain, and we can find comfort in Him. May God bless you as you journey through life, and may he help you find comfort and joy in the difficult times in Jesus' name, amen.